Welcome to another video on Power BI interview questions. Hope you're watching this series from beginning. The next question which you may be asked is how to append two tables in DAX. So specifically we are talking about DAX. In DAX we have function union which can be used to append the data. So union function makes it easy to combine the two tables. When you combine the two tables it's going to return another table. And that will contain rows from both the tables. The two tables must have same number of columns. A written table will contain the same columns as in the table one expression. Now union will retain duplicates. It means it is going to work like SQL union all, not like union. What is the syntax? So you can use the function union and you can give the tables which you want to append so let's take example on power bi desktop to understand it better so let me jump onto the power bi desktop i'm here on the power bi desktop and to solve this question i would like to go to the table view in the table view i have a table a which contains column one and column two one contains categorical value another contains numeric values i have table two again having two columns column one and column two and they do have some values which are basically duplicate so you can see a two is exact duplicate which has been repeated here now let's try to append these tables so to append these table i'm going to create a new table as i have already clicked on the table i'm able to see the table tool on the top and from there i'm going to click on the new table once i click on the new table i can give it as a name as appended table left hand side is the name right hand side function union union function you can give n number of tables so i'm going to give here a comma b i can give more tables if i have but right now i only have the two tables which i want to append and as you can see this table contains the row from the table 1 as well as table 2 and the exact duplicates are also retained i want to make it equivalent of sql union which means i don't want any duplicate rows as of now it is equivalent of sql union all means the duplicate rows are retained let's try distinct function on this we have a function distinct which can be used on table or a column expression i'm applying that on it and as you can see it has been reduced to only four rows the duplicates have been removed so along with union you can use the dax function distinct to get the distinct values where this can be used Sometime you will get the fact tables which have common dimensions and you have not got the dimension from the source. This is the method which can be used to, to create the dimension. So assume this is the table A and table B I got from the source and I want to create a dimension table joining with both of them. The column 1. Assume the name is category. So I would like to create a new table again i'm going to use the new table option from the table tool from the table tools i'm going to use the new table option and let me give it as a name as cat and in this case what i'm going to do union first of all i'm doing a union and i'm going to select the distinct values from a column a distinct values from b column one this we do to avoid the circular references so let me show you what it gives because it's going to give you the duplicate still in spite of using distinct because they are internal distincts not the distinct on the overall table so you are getting the values but still the distincts are not removed because distincts are only at the table level now i'm going to use one more distinct and this will give you only the limited number of categories which i have now I can join this table, new table category with A and B and it will also not give you circular reference error. 
in this case and that's why i have used distinct at three places in this case and in this manner you will be able to create a star schema on the two fact tables which had a common columns but previously not having any dimension we created a dimension table here and we are going to join with that and we will be able to analyze the data together using that common dimension so why don't you go ahead and try this out thank you for taking time to watch this video your curiosity and quest for the knowledge are what's inspiring this series if you have any question or topics you would like me to explore in this series please let me know in the comments below your support is truly means the world to us it's the reason we create and share these videos if you have enjoyed this content and would like to see more please consider liking sharing and commenting it helps us immensely until next time keep learning and stay connected thank you